place her in the medal round. And next up, in third place after the short program, Yukari Nakano. Talking to her coach, Mr. Sato, Yuka's, Yuka's father. father, yes. Yeah. Who also teaches Fumia Sagori. Yukari is just 21 years old. Look at the position and the facial expressions on her. She's lovely to watch. She pays very close attention to all these details of how she presents herself, starting with the triple axel. Not getting in a fight, she really didn't step through with that free leg, the leg that lifts her up into the air and couldn't make the rotation. Jump sequence, triplets. Eye on the Lutz again with that wrap. She seems to control it very well. Midori Ito is the only one I remember being able to be very successful with the wrapped jumps. Triple flip coming up. Very high distracting her she has such beautiful positions in her skating and that leg wrapping around her thigh is strange especially when here on the triple sow cow she doesn't have that it's much closer together the ankles tighter look at the inside edge on this flying camel very nice position Gain points even with a flying camel. Very, very pretty. You carry is trying to medal international championships for the first time after three previous tries. Triple flip, double toe combination. She changed that to previously doing triple loop in that spot. Nicely done, giving the combination and a harder triple, gaining more points for her. Triple sow, double toe, double loop. Look at the smile on her face. She is happy yep. with that, and rightfully so. And look at this spin, the outside edge on the camel, strong, fast positions, and then the inside edge on the sitzman. This is a very nice program for Yukari. I love how she uses her arms. Could be a huge breakthrough. Uh, she's been fifth, sixth, or seventh at the Nationals in each of the last five years. So here's a chance for her to break into the medal category for the first time. Well, I think she definitely has a good chance of that. This is a very strong program. She's skating it beautifully with a lot of style and grace in between. Other elements like this, the spiral sequence, just beautiful positions, strength right there, holding her leg up without having to get it up there with a hand or anything. Very nice. One big fall on that triple axle. But five triples besides that. Nice double axle. Wow. To cap it off at the end. A beautiful position. I, I really, really enjoy her skating. She's a beautiful, very talented skater. Uh, Love her smile. <laughs> yeah. Here's a look back. And what could be a, a breakthrough performance. I think the other girls have a lot to live up to after that performance. 
here's the triple axle. Her knee just doesn't come through enough, enough to get enough height for the rotation for that triple axle. Remember, a triple axle is the axle is the only jump taking off forward, so it's an actual extra half turn. The triple axle would be three and a half rotations. Here, triple flip, leg wrapped way up around that knee and even higher, but having so much control over that, it doesn't affect it at all, and it landing very nice and strong. Again, with the triple sow, you can see her feet are much tighter here. Into a double toe and a double loop. And there, her score of 116.38 puts her in first place for now with an excellent chance to grab a medal in her national championships. And let's look at the current standings here in the ladies' free skate and with our three prime contenders still to come. And still to skate, Mao Asada and Mickey Ando. When we